Raw Maths Challenge number 7. For more information you should watch the beginning of challenge number 1. The basics are you're not allowed any calculating devices or measuring implements such as rulers and protractors. All you should need is a pencil and a piece of paper. Pause the video now and have a go at these warm questions. Okay, junior warm up. So we've got these we've got these seeds where fifty five hundred thousand seeds equals one gram. So how many millions of seeds weigh one kilogram? Well for one kilogram that's a thousand grams. So we have to times this five hundred thousand by a thousand. So we get five hundred million. So how many millions? Well, 500 million, just see. Intermediate warm up. If one gallon of honey, one gallon provides one bee with the ability to fly 7 million miles, then how many bees could fly a thousand miles on one gallon? So if one bee can fly 7 million, how many bees can fly a thousand? Well you should be able to see that that's 7,000 bees can fly a thousand miles on one gallon. But we've got 10 gallons. So 10 times 7,000 is going to be 70,000. The senior warm-up. 80 spokes of the London Eye make up 4 miles of cable. We've got to change this into metres. So 80 spoke, 80 is equal to 4 miles. So 1 spoke is going to be equal to 4 over 80 miles, which is 1 over 20. Now on the London Eye, or on any wheel, the spokes are equal to the radius of the wheel. And to work out the circumference of the wheel all the way around the outside, we need the formula circumference equals pi times diameter, or pi times, or 2 times pi times r, or 2r, because the diameter is twice the radius. So we need to find the radius. So we know that one spoke, which is the radius, is 1 20th of a mile, but we need to change that into meters. We really need to know this conversion 1 mile is 1.6 kilometers or 1,600 meters approximately. You may be familiar with the conversion what 5 miles equals 8 kilometers. If you divide 8 by 5 you get 1.6 which is 1,600 meters. So 1 20th of a mile, one spoke is 1 20th of a mile. A mile is 1,600 meters. So 1,600 divided by 20 because you want 1 20th of it is 80 meters. So we know a spoke is 80 metres, we take that value, put it into this formula. Because we're approximating, we use pi is equal to 3, and 2 lots of 80 is 160, and 3 lots of 160 is 480, which is approximately 500 metres. Doing your tricks here from Raw Mass Challenge number 6. This was from last week's video. Um, if you haven't had a go at this yet, you might want to, have to pause the video now and have a go. So, the solution to this, if we've got two identical rectangles that have been glued together to make an L shape, and we know the perimeter, so the distance around the outside is 40 centimeters, what is the ratio of the lengths of the sides of one of the original cards? So if we just label these up, W is the width, L is the length of the rectangle, so this is going to be L, this is going to be W, this is going to be L minus W, this is going to be L minus W. And we add all those up, L plus L plus W plus W plus L minus W plus L minus W equals 40. And we can see that 1, 2, 3, 4 L's. 2w minus w minus w so that the w's actually disappear equals 40. So l equals 10. So we can look, we can work out the length of the side of this l shape, but we can't work out the width because the w's disappear. Now that's trying to tell us something. And usually in a math challenge question, 
The answer is we need more information. That's very rare in these questions, but this is actually quite an interesting case because if I take just a, just an example, two more L shapes, it doesn't actually matter how wide this is. These two L shapes, if they have the same length here and here, will have the same perimeter because if we look at the completed rectangle or square in this case then the opposite sides of here and here are the same length and the same here and the same here so it doesn't matter how wide the L shape is the perimeter distance around the outside is always going to be the same as the rectangle or square it's contained within and that can sometimes if you're doing a, a perimeter of a L shape, it can speed up your working of the answer because all you really need to do is to add these two sides together and double it and that will give you the perimeter of the whole shape without worrying about what these extra little lengths are. Intermediate Trixie from Raw Math Challenge number 6. If you haven't had a go at this question yet, pause the video and give it a try now. Okay, this is quite a tricky question because it's all in written in words. There's no hints of what's going on apart from the words, so we have to be very careful of what we're reading. Um, Expected remorse has a difficult year in 2004. The Kral-Mathian camp meant that he had 20% more cases to solve than in 2003, but his success rate dropped. So we're looking at the number of cases, and we're looking at solved cases. In 2003, which is our base year, he solved 80% of his cases. In 2004, he solved only 60% of them. So if we start by saying in 2003 he solved X number of cases, then if we want to work out how many cases he had, because we want to go, what we want to do here is go from here to here, down to there, and then back to here, so that we can work out the percentage change in the number that he solved. So if he solved X, in 2003, the number of cases he had, because he only solved 80% of them, is if 80% of these cases are solved, 80% equals four fifths of the cases. So if I want to go back, this this is four fifths of that. So if I want to go back this way, I need to times by the reciprocal of four fifths, which is five quarters. So the number of cases he solved was five quarters of x. Now, we're told that his success, his, uh, he had 20% more cases to solve in 2004 than 2003. So 20% more is 120% in total, and that's uh, 12 over 10, or 6 fifths of an increase. So we've got 5 quarters times by 6 fifths. So we've got 6 fifths times 5 quarters I've used the dot instead of a time sign, I don't want to get confused with the x. So 6 fifths times 5 quarters, and these 5's cancel to leave us with 6 quarters of x, and 6 quarters is 1 and a half. So we have 1 and a half lots of x cases in 2004 compared to 2003. And then we know that he only solved 60% of those, so 60% is the same as 6 over 10, or 3 fifths. So he solved three fifths of those one and a half x. So that's equal to nine tenths of x. So in 2003 he solved x cases. In 2004 he solved nine tenths of those x cases. So that's a decrease of a tenth, which is 10%. Hey, okay, Senior Trixie solution from Raw Mass Challenge number 6. If you haven't had a go at this question yet, pause the video and give it a try now. Ok, this question is a very difficult question unless you know one piece of information, and that is to do with triangles. If I have any triangle, and I draw on the lines that go from the vertex to the midpoint of each side, then all these points 
all these lines cross at one point and this point is called the median of the triangle and is one third from the base to the height so on this side that's one third of this length that's two thirds on this line that's one third and that's two thirds and this is one third and that's two thirds if you know that piece of information then it sort of makes this question a lot easier so here's the diagram for the question and I've drawn on the diagonals of the square from here if I know this is half the square which is clear because that's a diagonal then if I can work out this section here this bit in here then I will have what fraction of the whole um, square this quadrilateral is and because this triangle PRS has the medians drawn from here, here and here to the point T which is what we're trying to find this is one third of the way along this line and so the height of this triangle if this is the base is one third of the whole triangle which would be this triangle here so this triangle, the one that's in purple, is a third of the whole triangle here which is a half of the whole shape so this purple triangle is a third of a half which is one sixth of the whole shape and this triangle that was in blue is half of the whole shape so we've got a half plus a sixth which is half is three sixths so that's four sixths of the whole shape which is two thirds and that is answer C And finally, some new tricksy questions to keep you busy until next time. Please feel free to post your solutions to these questions in the comments section. If you have found this video interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to check out your answers, subscribe to Raw Maths on YouTube so that you can find out when I post the next video which have the solutions to these questions. So until next time, good luck.